Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Snakebird. We are on like episode 6 now, it's great, we're absolutely flying through this game. And I'm sure we're going to encounter some tough puzzles in the future, but as of right now they've been pretty straightforward. We got caught on a couple of them, that star one was pretty difficult. Uh, but what one's next? We're up to level 26, so level 27 over here. I like the puzzles in this area, they're a lot of fun. And as always... 2,000 likes on this video. We'll have another daily episode tomorrow. I want to say thank you so much for the support on this game. Really, really great to play um, a nice, fun puzzle game like this. So what have we got going on here? We've got a bit of fruit at the top that we got to get. Then we've got to get out of this area, which should be pretty straightforward, I imagine. Once you've got this bit, you just got to drop down and go out over here. So we've got two snakes, or snake birds, and uh, one of these golden things. So I'm looking at this. If we do a little bit of counting here... This guy might not be the one to go to the top, but if he does, then let's do a little bit of counting. So, one, two, three. Yeah, this guy would prop underneath the gold once we get it up here. It's pretty obvious we've got to push it up. So, I think that means that either of them could get up there. This thing is three blocks tall. One, two, three, then one, two, three, and four. The red guy could then turn left and grab the fruit. So, I think we should just aim perhaps to get... Ah, you see, once we prop this down... Actually, no, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I've got a feeling this one's going to be very tricky because of these spikes. That's going to make it uh, a very limited amount of space to work with. Also, how do we push this thing up? We have to get underneath it, right? But when we're here, we can't move it up. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's got me scratching my head straight away. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Or maybe we just use this thing to get the green guy up here. And if we had this guy standing vertical, then we could only go two more blocks. And then we wouldn't be able to go left. So we have to move the gold thing up. Okay, we can rule this one out of the equation. This is pretty much my first attempt as well. If we undo all of the moves, you'll sort of see how I got up there. It was quite simple and I was thinking, yeah, that's not going to work. And the only way <laughs> I can see this working is if we move this thing upwards. How we do that... I have no idea at all because we can uh, only move it this far across to this bit. In fact, I can give you a demonstration if we do this. That's as far as we can go in either direction. So we can't even like push it out over here and have one of the snakes underneath it somehow. That is yeah, quite difficult. And I guess what we're doing now is we're assuming that we have to move this thing upwards. So maybe that's not what we're trying to do here. So that's progress, right? <laughs> this is uh, this is me thinking, oh, I've gone, gone and solved the whole thing without doing a little update on what's going on. But no, no, we haven't solved it yet. Let's undo all of the moves so I can sort of refresh myself a little bit here. It was tricky, but I managed to get the red guy underneath the gold one after I realised how we moved it up, which is to have one of the snakes in there and the other one underneath it pushing up. So uh, we'll see that somewhere around here. There you go, like that. So there you go, the green one kind of pushes up. So what did we do? We went in there, we turned around to face the other direction, and that's the beginning. So let's do that again. Um, although you've just kind of seen everything. Uh, that's not right, is it? There we go, that's the way. So now we push this guy up. Then that guy can go down and underneath. Anyway, you see now we moved it up one there. Actually, I think... I think what I did was like this, and then this guy comes across, and now he can nudge it like that. But what I think we need is to get it to move up even further, so we have one, two, three, like that. And then the red guy is going to be able to climb it all the way up to the top. So let's say we were able to do that, um, then actually I don't think we even need to experiment here. It's pretty obvious, right, that the red one can climb on top of the green and can go all the way up to where we want that gap to be. So we want this one to be the bottom and the one above. So we've got to figure out a way to push it up a little further. So if we take a step back, we need to keep it here and have the green one on the other side or underneath it somehow so we can prop it up at the same height. I, I don't even know actually, this is extremely confusing. Because <laughs> uh, if we move around like this, that's going to fall down. That's fair enough. And now we're back at square one. And we want to go one higher than that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really difficult, this one. 
Okay, finally I did it. I took a step back and I kept thinking, every time I think about how this is done, we've got to have the green one underneath the red one when we push this up. That seems to be the only way to do it, right? So there must be a way to do that. And I took a step back to where we were over here. <laughs> Quite a way back. And I thought, let's try something different here. So as you saw, sent this guy up, uh, down and around. No, that, that's wrong, like this. No. <laughs> now I'm getting it all wrong. How did we go? Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. So now what we can do is prop this up a little bit higher. This guy can keep it at the same height. This one can get underneath and uh, take us to the height we want to be. But I needed to turn around, didn't I? That's right. I needed to turn this red guy around. No, no, that was it. There, there we go. <laughs> and that's the level done. Surely. <laughs> I don't think anything can go wrong now. Off you go. And off you go. Oh, look at his face as he gets closer. He looks so happy. Look. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. <laughs> okay, another one done. I like that one a lot. And now we're going on to number 28, which is up the top here, underneath the cloud. These puzzles have been great so far. I really like this. So we've got a piece of fruit. We've got some spikes and an object to move. I'm going to take my time to look at this one. We spent a lot of time on that first puzzle. So I've sussed out the puzzle here pretty quickly. Uh, doesn't mean I found a solution though, just that I kind of figured out what it's about. So if we go up like this, uh, you're going to send one of these guys up top. And then you've got an option here. You can even move it to the left or the right. So you're thinking that's going to be pretty straightforward. Get in here, get the lemon and get out, except there's no real way to get out because you're always going to fall on that little spike right there. So I was thinking, well, maybe you drop in from the side to get out, like this one falls down from up above, but you're going to end up with one basically doomed. <laughs> um, so the other option is to move this thing the other way, where you have a little bit more leeway. However, you need this guy to nudge it up first of all. So then, uh, he can, can he nudge it up again? No, the lemon blocks it. So this one nudges it across and you can nudge it across again and I think oh that's that's a development over what I did before now we can't move it to the right but we can move it up oh we solved it <laughs> that's got to have something to do with how you solve it so now I've got to get up there and I think what we're going to need I uh, can't nudge that again just yet got to be patient now, if we could have moved that one more, which I think we can, we could get out of here. Like so. Sweet. <laughs> um, still think there's more to it than that. So, I've been trying this one for a while. Move that up. Then how do we get the green guy to follow? Doesn't really work. Then it kind of dawned on me. <laughs> This entire time, I've been treating that spike over there like it's uh, going to destroy whatever touches it, like it does the snake birds. So I think if we move it one more over, then it's permanently in that position. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie daisy. Let's go like this. Uh, we dropped down by one, but now we can make it up here. Up you go. Up you go. We did it! <laughs> Oh man, there was a little bit of a eureka moment there. Got to remember the spikes are platforms too in a way. Okay, we've unlocked the third special challenge. I guess that means we've got to do um, this one down here. Actually, why is that one called three and this one six? Does that mean that's the hardest one? Maybe we'll wait until we've unlocked number two and do those in order as well. Okay, on to 29. Let's hope this one isn't quite as uh, difficult. The last... Well, actually, I'd say the first one was the most difficult. The last one was actually... Um, pretty straightforward. So this, I like the look of this. How do we... Oh look, there's a little gap down here. So we can nudge these up by one. We're basically going to build a staircase, right? <laughs> That's what it looks like we're doing to me. So let's go down and nudge these across. So that'll be the first bit of our staircase. I don't know if I'm even building this in the right place. Doesn't feel like it actually. We should probably start... Oh, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Let's uh, let's let's reset the level and start off by moving this one over here. I imagine this one will take me like a few attempts. You can see what's going on here, though. It should be pretty straightforward, right? We're going to nudge these over and uh, put them all into a position. So that'll be the first one. Then we've got to slide the second one all the way across. So if he does that, he's like a bridge. 
and you can go up there and easily nudge that across. <laughs> Had me worried for a second. Oh, I think I've just gone and done the exact same thing again. I wanted to start this off on this side down here. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to end up going... I'll tell you what, let's just play around with this a little bit first. Actually, that's no good to us because now the blue's on the wrong side. Alright, so we want to start our staircase here. Let's say this is the second bit. Then it's going to be tricky because we need to use this bit to move the blocks up, right? <laughs> we can also do that. Come back here and nudge it up. Oh, maybe not. No, 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 we can't. Do you know, I've been playing away at this for ages. I figured this is the challenge. We've got to build this staircase like so. And it's got to be on this side over here, not on the other side. Because then this is too far away from the end. So I'm pretty sure what we have right now is doable. Let's check if the one guy can go in. Or maybe he can't. Maybe I've got it wrong. Uh, we can always nudge this over by one. And then we fall down there. <laughs> um, that's fine though. I still think this is doable. I was just going to discuss. I really don't want to undo all of the moves that I've done. Because I've literally done so many. I've just been playing around with this. And I didn't think what I was doing was specifically possible yet. I was just going kind to... Of figuring everything out so to speak uh, but then kind of found our way to what could be the solution problem is we're going to knock that back over that way a little bit now aren't we so maybe I haven't done it after all that let's have a look no because if we're going to get up there we've got to nudge it like that again so I think one of these can escape with the help from the other one but that's it unless I made an oversight here so you can get out but now you're stuck here so we need to get the whole thing like one block over to the left I think so let's see how I did that I'm gonna hold can we hold it down no I'm just gonna have to tap it very very fast here and you can see all of the moves that I did and actually I think this is gonna be pretty ridiculous because <laughs> I did a lot of stuff let's put it that way there's me trying to get up the top again and now you can see how I sort of arranged it in reverse order <laughs> it looks really stupid and that's about as fast as it goes as well so a lot of this stuff, I don't think it needs too much explaining. You're constantly shuffling around, moving the blocks, using that little gap down below to move them around. And I think we're actually quite close to the beginning now. It looks like we are. <laughs> yep, so I think what I'm going to do with this one is just solve it. And show you it when we finish, because it's going to take me a long time. Okay, I believe I've done this now, and that was a very straightforward run that time. I got all of these blocks arranged like they are very quickly, then had to kind of shuffle these guys out so they could both uh, move in the same direction. So now, uh, this actually might be a little bit tricky, but we do have two of them, so this guy can come along and help. You can now nudge that one over there. I think that's it. Have we done it? Looks like we have. There we go, one of them's out. And there's the second one. Excellent. Sorry I couldn't show much as much of that as I would have liked, but it really was a bit of a grind. But then I solved it pretty straightforwardly, uh, the second attempt. So, pretty good puzzle. Number 30, looks like we're going into some new territory down here. This looks different, which means we're probably going to get a different type of challenge. So let's see. There is something new here. I believe that is a portal that's going to take us from one dimension to the other. And it's going to teleport us in a way where our shape has to fit as well. That is thinking in <laughs> another dimension right there. That's crazy. Okay, let's go up and down. No, we really got to think about this one, don't we? So, we can go around like this. Can we go up to that platform? No, we're going to fall down. Maybe we go back on ourselves and then it says no there as well. However, we fall down and then can continue up like that. And we just fall down. <laughs> So we sort of need to have this shape going on on the opposite side by the looks of it. Let's try and get that. There we go. So now we're on this side. Does that mean we just go straight across? No. We have to sort of reshuffle ourselves back through, don't we? <laughs> oh dear. So now we come out like that, which is not what we want. We want to sort of face upwards, probably. No. <laughs> we want to already be partially above. So how would we go about doing that? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how this is going to work in our favour. That's almost a step forward. Um, we need to get to that top platform, don't we? 
And we've seen that we sort of can't do it. Yeah, we can't do it. <laughs> so if we if we go into the little portal, we have to go in head first. Which makes me feel like that there isn't a solution because we're always going to approach this thing facing downwards or up. And then we're always sort of going to be above this ridge right here. So by doing what we've just done, we come out with the right shape to get on this platform, but we're the wrong way around. And I don't particularly see another way to get our head up here, if that makes sense. Can we move like... No, we can't. <laughs> can't really do anything there, can we? Look at these derpy little fish swimming around in the background. <laughs> quite cute. <laughs> this whole game is cute. Um, so I've sort of, like, I think I've figured it out now, and yeah, these portals kind of lead you in a direction that you think you have to go through head first, because that's how you choose often to uh, to go on it. So if you do this, you can actually drop in from the bottom. Now you saw that that didn't work, so if we go to the side there, then we've got the shape where our head is on the platform. And that's how you get out of there. So, now we're working with portals. That was a terrific little puzzle. Oh, I'm looking forward to this new area now, because we've got a whole new challenge to do. And then beyond that, I think, we come back around again to over here. And then we've got a few, probably the hardest ones in the game, over there. And I think that's actually it. We're probably looking at about 50 levels in total. So we're well over halfway there. It's been so much fun so far. I do hope you have been enjoying it. And uh, as always... Leave a like if you're enjoying it. 2,000 of those. We'll have another daily video tomorrow. Anyway, that's it from me. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.